Welcome back to the channel. Monica Lou here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the month of October. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you. It may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Aries, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to be pulling uh, your challenge for October, and I'm going to also be looking at what you don't see coming for the month of November. Okay, so what is your challenge for the month of October is the Page of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Temperance, okay? All right, so now before I get into your reading, I'm gonna explain to you um, briefly how the reading is gonna work. So the way the readings work now on the channel is I'm gonna be looking at past, present, and future for October. Then I'm gonna be looking at your challenge to see how that's tying in in, an, in October. And in the month of November, what you don't see coming is what is on this side of the tarot, okay? Um, so this is an October read, but in the readings, I always look one month ahead to see what energies are coming in for you, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? So for you, Aries, you have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like your biggest challenge here for the month of October is gonna be the fact that Something here uh, is coming in. It's an opportunity that's coming in. It doesn't look like a huge opportunity, but it is something that is actually gonna take you to the next level, okay? Um, and it could be really challenging for you to see this opportunity that's coming in because the opportunity that's coming in based on the Page of Pentacles is a small offer. Okay, Page of Pentacles, when you typically look at it, it's it's not the King of Pentacles, it's not the Queen of Pentacles, it's not the Ace of Pentacles, it's a page. So your biggest challenge is to identify small opportunities in your life, whether they're business, financial, love, whatever you are after, uh, identifying these opportunities that are coming into your life that could potentially lead to bigger opportunities down the road, okay? And I say this because for many of you, we just had the solar eclipse. Uh, for many of you, this happened in your seventh house if you're a rising Aries. South node was there. So there is something that is closing out for you, but there's a new beginning that's happening. And this could, even though this is an October read, this could be happening for you um, some point, you know, during this year. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So that's what I feel like is your challenge. Uh, we're going to clarify this and get more information in the extended. All right. Let's talk about the recent past. Now in the recent past, you have the six of swords, you have the two of swords and you have the high priestess. Um, so I feel in the recent past, you definitely disconnected from someone or someone disconnected from you. This could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting a Pisces here as well, sun, moon, or rising. Signs aren't really important. What, re what is really important here is the actions that happened in the past, which led to some sort of test for you. I do feel the reason why this person disconnected or left from you, uh, left you or disconnected from you was because either you were very closed off or you were unavailable to this person, okay? What's quite interesting in the past for you, Aries, was you and this person had an extremely strong connection, very, very strong connection. And I feel like this connection uh, may have led to something serious or it had the potential to lead to something serious. However, someone here disconnected. I don't know if this was you or your person, but someone here disconnected um, because of, of a closed off energy. Okay. And this is what I feel happened for many of you in the past. Now in the present moment, you have the queen of wands, you have the 10 of cups and you have the hierophant. So I feel with the hierophant in the present moment, um, somebody sees you in the present moment as wanting to commit. Okay. So somebody here wants to commit to you. They really like you. This could also be you committing to something. Okay. It doesn't have to be love for some of you. It is a relationship, love, marriage, commitment, or it can simply just mean a project or an institution. There's some Something that you were committing yourself to in the present moment and you're asking the question of whether or not this is something that is going to lead to happiness as what I can see right here as of now whatever this situation is it is going to lead to a lot of happiness because you have the ten of cups here in the present moment okay now you also have the sun currently in Libra in your seventh house so there's a lot going on in October um, Capricorn's moving or 
Pluto in Capricorn's moving direct. This is going to square your sun, moon, or rising. Um, we also have Mars um, also squaring your sun, moon, or rising because Mars is slowing down. It's going into its shadow period. And you also have um, Pluto moving out of Capricorn in November. So there's a lot going on and the sun is transiting um, Libra. So there's a lot of this activity that's going on in maybe your career, your love life, your home life. So I feel in the present moment for you, Aries, there's a very, very strong and important message for you about your happiness and about a, a commitment. So if you are watching this and you're saying, I want answers, you know, in terms of a marriage or a commitment or just committing to something in general, I feel like there's a very important message here. There's something in the present moment that is either already making you extremely happy or there's the potential for it to make you really happy. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. I also feel with the queen of wands, there's a very important message about your happiness um, in general. Okay. So we're going to talk more about that when we clarify in the extended. Now in the near future, you have the Knight of wands, you have the two of pentacles and you have the King of pentacles. So I feel like for you in the near future, there's an important choice or decision that may need to be made. Okay. About, uh, somebody important here. I am seeing the King of pentacles here. So this could be about, you know, your job. It could be about business, um, you're taking action towards something, but you may not be a hundred percent sure if whatever it is that you are pursuing in the near future is worth your time. Okay. I feel based on what I see here before I even clarify that it is worth your time. The reason why I say that is because you have the King of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles, uh, really what I see here, the King of Pentacles is a very positive energy because it's someone who is financially abundant stable. So you could be attracting someone if, you know, if you're interested in love, you could be attracting someone who's very financially stable, very, uh, goal oriented. And I see you really being indecisive about this person in general. I see this person waiting for you here in the near future. It could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. A lot of you have been indecisive about this person or about this opportunity. It doesn't have to be a romantic opportunity for most of you. I feel like it is, but if it's not about a romantic, um, opportunity, it could simply be a business opportunity. Okay. Now, one of the things that you need to be aware of closer to the end of, um, October is the sun is going to be changing signs into Scorpio. So if you're looking for a business opportunity, if you're looking to collaborate with someone, I feel like October is the month to do that. Okay. So if there are opportunities, cause I feel like there are, um, big opportunities that are coming in, but they're coming in small packages. Okay. Not a lot of you are going to see that or, or notice it. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that you harness the opportunities that are available to you in October. Okay. This is going to be super, super critical for you, especially because we just had the solar eclipse and this is going to play out for the next, uh, 12, 12 months. Okay. But October is the month where it all starts. And October is a month where it starts to grow and it leads to something bigger for you. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck for November. Okay. This is for November. We just talked about October. This is for November. Okay. So you have the temperance and underneath that you have the three of pentacles. Some of you are inquiring about someone from your past, or you're inquiring about whether or not someone that you've been dealing with for quite some time is going to come back around. I feel like the answer is yes. Okay. There is someone who is going to possibly reconcile with you, but in November, November is going to possibly be the month um, where you reconcile with someone. Now, if you are inquiring about new love, it's coming in. It's coming in for you, but it's coming in slowly. And the reason why things are moving slow for you, I'm going to tell you why is because your ruler Mars is going to be retrograding in December. Okay. It's starting its slow retrograde motion now, um, in the sign of cancer, which is going to square your sun, moon, arising. So even though you're pushing forward and you want, you know, you want to take up this opportunity or you want to meet this person, or you want to reconcile with that person, um, or maybe you want a relationship or you're just waiting for certain opportunities to come in. It's really important that you take your time. You may be somebody who's used to rushing into stuff, getting what you want when you want. Um, but your ruler is teaching you something here. I think the reason why Mars is slowing down right now in this time for you is because 
If you've been someone who's been on the go a lot, go, 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 go. You're going here, you're going there, you're going here, you're going there. You don't really stop to see the opportunities that are in your life. And this is something that you're learning to do over the next six months. Even though this is an October read, it's preparing you for what is coming, okay? So in the extended, I'm gonna clarify all the cards. We're gonna get a little more deep into what is coming in for you. I'm gonna also be providing advice over there for you. I wanna thank you so much, Aries, for taking the time to watch this reading, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.